Hey everyone, this is Casey with Series Makes and welcome to week 5 of the Big Build Off, hosted by the Builders Challenge. In the last episode, I got the base and tabletop all sanded up and ready for finish, but I have one more piece to make for this table. As I mentioned, I have chosen Home of the Sparrow as my table's recipient, and they have an amazing Sparrow logo that I somehow wanted to incorporate into my table. My wife came up with the idea that I should create a Lazy Susan and then inlay figured maple into it. Then I could create an epoxy sparrow inlay into that maple. So you've been watching me mill up the stock for the Lazy Susan, which will be about 20 inches in diameter and 1 inch thick. The process is pretty straightforward in the early steps. I flatten and cut all the panels to size and then glue them up using my parallel clamps. My planer is horrible with figured maple, so this is where the drum sander really shines. I can clean this wood up in no time with an 80 grit belt and dust collection which is far superior to my planers. Being that the Lazy Susan was going to be round, I also chose to make the inlay round. I marked out a circle, found the center, and mounted the base for the Rockler Compact Circle Jig. This jig is awesome for small projects as it can cut circles from 6 to 24 inches in diameter. The next step was to drill a center hole all the way through the panel. This will serve three purposes. I need to route a pocket on the bottom of the panel to set the Rockler Heavy Duty Lazy Susan into. I wanted the Lazy Susan to sit as low as possible to the tabletop. The second reason for the center through hole was that I needed to cut the outer diameter and remove the pieces. Lastly, I needed to locate and route the pocket for the maple inlay. Using the same hole would ensure that all three processes would be concentric to each other. After cutting the groove for the inlay, I removed all the excess material with my router. And now it's on to the fun part. I love to do freehand routing work wherever I can. It is so therapeutic to me and it adds that extra personal touch that is hard to duplicate in the handcrafted world. I start by printing out the sparrow and using graphite paper to transfer it to the maple. I will be using Moss Flag Epoxy for this project. For the colors, I chose Pearl White and then a blend of Midnight and Royal Blue. After all the routing is complete, I very carefully drip epoxy into the grooves, making sure that it completely fills and that all air bubbles are expelled. After it dries, I sand it back and then retrace my next pattern.
Again, I follow the same process of filling all the voids and making sure that there are no air bubbles. I set the epoxy aside to dry, and then it was back to the Lazy Susan. I wanted the Lazy Susan to have the same features as the tabletop, so I added an 8th inch round over to the top and a chamfer to the bottom. Once the epoxy had cured, I sanded it back flat. Now I need to resaw the inlay to rough thickness and then sand it close using the drum sander. I start by flipping the inlay over in the pocket and marking a line with a pencil. I then cut just proud of that line using the bandsaw. And over the drum sander to tune the thickness. With a test fit, the inlay was just a tick taller than the Walnut Lazy Susan. Next was to glue the panel in place and let it dry overnight. After it had dried, I sanded the entire Lazy Susan to prep for finish. Speaking of finish, I chose Armor Seal for this project based on some great conversations with some friends over on Instagram. I think I'm going to stop talking now and let you enjoy the next montage. Now, all that was left was to insert the bearing ring. I used the playing card trick to make sure that the ring was centered in the Lazy Susan. I basically kept adding cards until each stack had the same amount of cards. To mount the ring to the Lazy Susan, I used Power Pro multi-material screws. I also removed the plastic sliders on the ring and added rubber feet. These ensure that it will stay in place on a tabletop. Sit back and enjoy as I apply finish to the rest of the table.
I am so happy with how this table has turned out. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the table and the Lazy Susan. I'd like to thank Power Pro Hardware for sponsoring today's video and being a part of the Builders Challenge. I'd like to thank the Builders Challenge for putting on the big build off and letting me be a part of it. I'm Casey with C Reeves Makes and thanks for watching.